Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to the video. Um, this might be some of your first times watching this. I literally can't speak, like I'm honestly just going to word vomit. So if this is your first time on my channel, hello. Um, I've been doing a lot of videos of Whistler because I moved here six months ago and I've just almost finished a winter season and planning to stay here for summer and maybe winter again and like I'm just like living my best Canadian slash Whistler life so um, that's why I'm sharing everything on here. I usually do like some sit down chats which is what this is going to be and then sometimes I just do like little vlogs and I just put some little clips together, um, little ASMR clips of my time here so if you're here for that reason um, to learn more about Whistler and Canada and getting a visa and all that fun stuff working Whistler then you're in the right place this video is probably going to be mostly like a voiceover depending on how many clips I managed to get in my freaking busy winter but I wanted to do a little quick um it's not going to be quick I don't know why I said that it's gonna I'm gonna do a day in a life so originally I was just gonna do some clips together but I think um, I think I need to talk this through because you guys are going to be like, what the hell is going on? So let me just tell you. So um, I got a job in food and beverage and I don't know if I got offered on the mountain or off the mountain. can't remember, but um, I was offered a job at a place called Rendezvous on the mountain, on Black Co Mountain, which is like, I didn't probably realize how exciting it was at the time, but it is very, very exciting to work on a mountain, um, which I'm going to do a whole other thing about working on a mountain. But like for now, this is just a day in my life working at Whistler. I'm gonna like just go into the finer details because like why not like we've got all the time in the world right you have to work full-time hours to stay in staff housing which is what I do this is staff housing here uh I work five days a week like a normal normal last job and although it's not really a, a no it's like a normal job but just like super super duper cooler so we get up super early we live a little bit further away from the village so we had to catch a bus in which means we have to yeah get up a little bit early we catch a bus at like 6 30 so we are normally up by 5 5 30. uh we actually have a car now so it takes us less time but let's just pretend you live at west side we wake up quite early get ready for the day just dress in like whatever clothes i want really nice and warm obviously and have some brekkie mm. or definitely coffee mm. definitely like water and everything like that and then we catch the bus which only takes like 15 minutes and then from there we get dropped off and we have like a short five to ten minute walk to black comb mountain which is like amazing walk and every day the like weather is so different so like sometimes it's snowy and sometimes it's minus 20 and just you never know so i always like obviously wear boots and wear warm clothes and it's like a really nice walk in the morning when we first got here it was like really dark and then now it's like really light so it's really crazy but yeah, well then we meet all together um, at the base of the gondola um, inside, obviously away from the cold. We wait as a group for everyone. And then on 7.15 on the dot, uh, we start making our way to the gondola. So we have to scan our staff pass that we can get let on the gondola. And then they let us all up before all the customers because they know that we're um, working on the mountain. So yeah, usually obviously one of the managers supervisors us or whatever we get on the gondola you sometimes like on your own if you're like in a bad mood and you just want to have a little nap or sometimes with a group or whatever with your friends um it's yeah every day is like different who you hang out with but it's quite kind of nice because we have such a big group of people that everyone's just family um the gondola only is really meant to take like 20 minutes but sometimes in the morning they're like doing tests and stuff so it can take like while sometimes if the weather's bad it can take even longer so um i've had times where it's taken like 45 minutes but it is what it is it's a beautiful view obviously like every day i'm just like it's insane like i just can't i just can't even deal uh and then we get to work and the first thing we have to do is put out all the ski racks for everyone's skis which is like a little bit of a pain but it is what it is like you can't get out of it so we do them two at a time and you get to enjoy the view while you're doing it and enjoy the snow so it's really not the worst thing in the world and then we go in we get changed back at house go get changed into chef blacks so whatever you're wearing you can take off anyway so it's not a big deal and we leave our shoes at work too which is cool so you can literally rock up in whatever if you go out the night before and don't go home it's totally fine which is like not always a good thing but anyway 
get dressed into our chef blacks with our little cute hats and everything and then um we clock in and we get started for the day so back house always has like so much to do in the morning we've got lots of prep to do lots of stations to set up plenty plenty to do um i'm like a supervisor so i help everyone but usually people are rostered onto like a set station and they get that um going so that's super exciting 10 30 we open all these stations and have have our breaks and that kind of thing which is like half an hour get free food which is awesome if you work in food and bev um so we have a little staff meal uh during this time I'm just like rushing around like crazy obviously because it's always busy and then like 12 o'clock 12 to 1 30 is like the main lunch rush no breaks during that time it's just go 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 like you're out on the stations just grinding right and then after that some more, more breaks if people haven't had breaks yet and uh we start looking at winding down like cleaning up uh, cooling everything down uh yeah just you know how it is at that point around like two to three is like um it's chaotic it's still busy sometimes everything's messy everyone's tired but we get it done as a team and usually in that time is when i'm like trying to make sure everyone's doing the right thing and everything's getting done in a timely manner am i talking really fast i don't even know so everything's set out at the exact time kind of thing then usually we give everyone some like afternoon jobs so they know like once i've done that then they go do this and it's kind of like we all work as a team to get the place clean and packed down. Once the back of house kitchen crew have finished all their um, jobs, we normally try and help the front of house so that we can all kind of go home together. And then at that point we uh, go home. It's usually around four to four thirty. And if we're lucky enough, we can ski out. So we can sign a, a free ski waiver and then uh, you're free like to free to ski and do whatever you want if it's after that time then uh, we are on like work schedule still and a manager has to take you down but that doesn't happen very often unless you're really really late and again in the afternoon we do more ski racks uh, so put them away and it's it's very much like a team effort it is a big it is a really big building and the same goes for like a lot of restaurants on the mountain and in the village owned by uh, the mountain uh, the mountain, the mountain, uh, we're one big team and there's a lot of moving parts and we all have to work together for a common goal. So I think that's really why they stress to us about the values and the, we try and really bring in that team culture because like, if someone is not doing the right thing, like it will affect the rest of the team. So we really try and promote a big team culture, which is amazing. And like the mountain puts a lot of detail into really setting us up for success and giving us as much training as we can and clear communication and they put in a lot of effort for people that are only staying for a season it's really it's a really really nice thing to see and it takes a lot of time and effort and money to be able to put these systems in place but it just it works so well and yeah I'm pretty I'm very happy like this during Christmas it was very busy and chaotic and we weren't very trained yet because we had only just started in like <clears throat> like early December and late November so it was crazy but um I guess my favorite parts is I don't know like it is I do have those days where I'm like oh my god work work sucks but as soon as you're around all your crew like it's so fun and I work with a lot of boys now which I haven't before and they're obviously very fun and always doing funny stuff so you're always laughing even if you're in the thick of it you're still laughing you're still having a good time and anytime you're having like a bad time you can just step outside and you just see the mountains and you're like this is insane like I, I work on a mountain like who can say that not many people and we get insanely good benefits like we get tips we get yeah like I said a free meal we get free coffee pop personally like I love food and bev I love hospitality and I would definitely, definitely recommend it as a job. Like, even if it's something that you have not done before, like a lot of people here have never done it before and they they learn very quickly and it's a very easy thing to learn and it's very fun. And yeah, I don't know, I feel like I'm trying to sell you. I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just trying to like paint a picture of what it's like. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm really happy that we got to work on the mountain and I'm excited for summer and to stay on 
hopefully working at rendezvous not really sure what's going on but i'm excited anyway <sighs> did i even explain enough for you guys i don't even know i think in terms of work it's like a standard food and bev work day but obviously you have to catch a gondola up to work and you have to carry your ex around and you have to shovel snow sometimes and you have to do like kind of weird stuff sometimes like you know watch a pine martin steal a cookie oh my feet hurt that is a day on the mountain in whistler working at rendezvous uh as a back of house keep in mind i'm back house front house not really like it's not really my vibe but i think it's very similar uh, just different jobs that you do through the day, but you're still in the same place with the same people having a good time. So yeah, thank you for watching. I've got plenty more videos on Whistler and Canada and all that. So if you want to check out anything else, feel free. Um, till then, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.